Hi everybody, I'm Raymond Francis, and today I want to talk about something very serious, polio vaccinations. Most people don't know this, but here's the truth. Polio vaccinations cause polio and cancer. There's a myth the polio vaccine has virtually eliminated the wild polio virus in large portions of the world. But get this, at the same time, world health officials are declaring a victory on polio. Okay, so here it is. here's the, all people declaring a victory on polio. They are calling a global meeting in Switzerland on the growing problem of vaccine-caused polio. You see, polio vaccine is the largest cause of polio in the world. And vaccine-caused polio is on the rise. According to a 2010 article in the New England Journal of Medicine, outbreaks of vaccine-caused polio have been occurring at a rate of once or twice per year since the year 2000. The oral polio vaccine, which is still used in many third world countries, is made from a live polio virus, which carries a risk of causing polio. The virus in the vaccine can also mutate into a deadlier version, igniting new outbreaks. The U.S. began using an inactivated polio vaccine in 1999 after parents of vaccine-damaged children were successful in lobbying for a change. The problem is that while the oral, oral polio vaccine is supposedly protects against wild polio, the wild virus is being replaced by the vaccine-derived polio virus, which is actually more dangerous than the virus it's supposed to be protecting against. In essence, this much heralded vaccine strategy has replaced one infectious disease with another, even worse strain. What kind of success is that? According to a 2004 report by Neil Miller of the Global Vaccine Institute, the live polio virus from the vaccine can remain in your throat for one to two weeks and in your feces for up to two months. So not only is the vaccine recipient at risk for developing polio, but he or she can potentially spread the disease. But never mind the new vaccinations. What about people like you and me who received vaccinations decades ago? In 2002, the journal Lancet published compelling evidence that virus-contaminated polio vaccine is responsible to up to half of the 55,000 non-Hodgkin's lymphoma cases that are occurring each year. Non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, 55,000 cases, half of them, at least half of them being caused by the polio virus vaccination that you and I had decades ago. In addition, polio vaccine appears to be causing an outbreak of brain, bone, and lung cancer. Evidence on how deadly polio vaccine can be began to surface in 1994 when Dr. Michelle Carbone, a Loyola University researcher, found the virus SV40, which had never been for, never before been detected in humans in half of the human lung cancer tumors. Since then, 60 different lab studies have confirmed these results. And SV40 has been found in a variety of human cancers. Where did this virus come from? It came from the monkey tissue that was used to make the polio vaccine. Repeated studies show that polio vaccine was contaminated with SV40. This virus has been detected in children 
who are too young to have received this contaminated vaccine that was administered back in the 50s and the 60s. There are suspicions that the monkey virus may have been in polio vaccine as late as 1999. Despite all this evidence, the disease industry still maintains that vaccines are safe. The truth is they are neither safe nor effective. No scientific evidence exists that vaccines have helped to protect from the diseases they are supposed to be protecting against. Meanwhile, there's a mountain of evidence that vaccines are not safe. So here's the information, do with it as you will, but the buyer beware. I don't get vaccinations, I don't recommend vaccinations. I think that the evidence, the scientific evidence is overwhelming, that vaccinations are ineffective, they don't do what they're supposed to be doing, and they are extremely dangerous. Thank you for listening.